Hello babes, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for today's video you guys. As you can tell by the title, we are finally organizing this damn medicine cabinet because it's just been like it's become a mess you know when like you first organize something you think it's organized but you really just kind of like half-assed it that's exactly what i did i feel like all of us just want to like organize and it just makes you feel so much lighter so much more free and i just have a lot of it to do in my kitchen i want to organize the front of like in my living room i have the malm dresser people always ask me what that dresser is it's the same as my bedroom dresser so they're both the malm from ikea by the way today we're going to organize my medicine cabinet i'm so excited I was planning over the weekend what I feel is best for the whole entire cabinet. For those of you who are in an apartment or a condo like me, my vanity, there's just two cabinets at the bottom. And that's what I feel like a whole other video because I managed to perfectly fit these units inside the bottom of my sink area in my cabinets. And I'm also in the middle, by the way, of doing a bathroom kind of makeover. I don't want to show you guys too, too, too much about what I've changed but yeah that is coming up in a video and i'm so super excited you guys i would say i'm like 80 percent there i'm probably going to be doing vlogs that have more organizing in my kitchen because my kitchen i bought some things to organize too if you guys are organizing lovers you're going to love this video and a few videos that are coming up on my channel and if you're brand new i want to welcome you to my channel hopefully you guys enjoy this video make sure you guys subscribe also click that bell and click all so you guys get notified for all of my brand new uploads, I'm also going to be doing a 120k giveaway once we reach 120k on YouTube. Do not forget to follow me on IG. It is at Steph G. Macedo if you want to go check it out. I'm going to be doing a reel also of this makeover, so I'm so excited to see how it's going to turn out. Living in an apartment or a condo, you're going to come across storage challenges. How do you make the most of the space that you have? And I love those challenges. I love living in a small space. I don't like living in a massive space. And I just love being like, okay, I only have this much amount of space. How can I maximize it? Like to me, that's just so much fun. And I've had to do it definitely with this bathroom um, because like I said, I don't have drawers and I haven't put like any shelving units up except for my medicine cabinet. If you guys are interested, I can show you what is underneath my sink in a whole other video. I really think I maximize like the full amount of storage in this bathroom. Do not mind if it's not perfectly clean right now. It's because we're going to be making a mess anyways. So I want to fully clean it after. This one is from Lowe's and I think you guys in the States also have Lowe's too. And I believe it was from Lowe's and not Rona. I can find it for you guys and link it if you guys are interested. You're probably thinking, oh, why didn't you just get like one from Ikea? Because they're super affordable too. Well, I wanted it to be the maximum amount of width and every Ikea cabinet that I checked was never perfect for my space, but also giving me enough space. You see right here how I have this outlet. I need to still be able to plug in a straightener or a blow dryer. So I didn't want to block that, but I also wanted the maximum height and the maximum width. The other thing when you guys are picking a medicine cabinet, I personally don't like when it has a frame around it, like a white or black frame. I'll tell you why I'm such a freaking perfectionist that if the frame is off by a little bit it's going to drive me insane and I also like the frameless because it's very minimal and I'm a minimalist like my style is very the minimalistic style the other tip I have you can do the two doors so that you don't have like the one two three what kind of annoyed me about that is like when you're doing your makeup I love that I can see myself right in the middle like when I'm doing it or else you're gonna have this crack in the middle and you might think it's not that big of a deal but like look like doing your makeup in the middle like this is so annoying let me show you guys what it looks like right now that's one two and then this one opens like this this is what is going on in here it's really just a mix of everything you guys and then over here i kind of have like a self-care thing with my toothbrush q-tips perfumes i have a random cream up there i have a headband there's just a lot of things in here that today they're gonna either get get tossed out or if they're not in my current routine they're gonna get put away there's a lot of stuff in here that i'm not currently using right now my dad actually recently just installed those two little clips over there those little kind of brackets so that the middle of the shelf gets supported because i was noticing that the middle was bending over here you guys probably can't tell but there's a shelf liner right over here i'm going to be laying something on each individual shelf i found these shelf or drawer liners i really love this color and i love that it's completely wipeable over time the oils do get like at the bottom over here there's a lot of oil stains and it's 
cause like these spots at the back thinking of also putting this shelf liner not only on the shelf but as like kind of a backsplash at the back really gonna be the most tedious part of this video I am really big on aesthetic but I'm really big on practicality too think about how you're gonna be functioning with it think about what you grab first what you grab once a week what you want easily reachable what you don't really care to be easily reachable that's kind of how I planned everything inside of here I also have different containers that I bought I'm not really sure if I'm gonna be using all of them but we're gonna see if they fit or not I love how they kind of have this very creamy kind of color just like this over here I'm very much into like the creamy soft white instead of the stark fresh white I also bought this container which is so minimal and clear it's by live home but it has q-tips and these guys I always reach for them because I love to clean my eye makeup with these pads we're gonna remove everything watch this though right now because I'm five foot one let's not play any games this is everything that was inside of that freaking cabinet I am like I'm so dead like this has got a lot of this has just got to go because I'm telling you right now I don't use probably half of this stuff like on a daily basis I tried to kind of organize by category as I was taking them out but some of this stuff I was just like wait what category is this like this is also a cream tanner but i don't want this inside this medicine cabinet i also want to organize what is underneath here eventually if you're enjoying this video right now please give it a big thumbs up so that i know you guys want to see more organizing videos if you guys love my kind of tips please let me know down below in the comments as well let's clean this stuff up now that is much better these are my moisturizers oils and my serums my toothpaste and stuff like that my perfumes this one is kind of like my affordable bottle of perfume when i just want to spritz on something to smell good i don't want to kind of use up these two because they're the most well this one's the most expensive it's actually quite affordable for this is my absolute favorite favorite perfume this is kenneth cole for her the actual name is called for her her favorite like scent is musky kind of scents so this one's from the body shop and then this one is just Juliet has a gun and it's called not a perfume because it literally is so different from anything I've ever smelt this is my go-to this is my absolute favorite favorite perfume and oh my god does it ever go with my aesthetic like I'm just so obsessed with it mask a face scrub and a lip scrub so favorite toner I took off the label so that it's more minimalistic this one is by Thayer's I actually use it to cleanse and to tone it's just it's so good it doesn't burn my eyes if it gets into my eyes by accident or I've been using this alloy wash this cleanser um, from hello body I really love their products so this one's a gel one and this one's a milky one. I bought this that actually comes with this collection over here. Her face kind of scrubber. I love using to cleanse my face. I do clean it every single time, obviously, and I try to dry it as much as I can. But if it's wet, it's going to go inside of this dish and then you can easily clean it. Facial tanning products, which is definitely something I reach for a lot. This little thing that I use to cover my grays and my roots. I think we're ready to clean this guy up. But these are all the same. So my plan is to cut three of them. All the same I'm gonna have to cut around these brackets you can probably tell I started over here is painting these guys white so that it's just seamless but the other thing I was thinking of doing is just kind of um, getting white tape and just covering the whole entire thing but it doesn't really bother me that much I just think it's something I'm going to do eventually I'm gonna clean this guy out and then we are going to start with our measuring of our shelves do is literally just trace this and cut out for that I think I'm gonna do the shelves first and then I'll lay those out and then once the shelves are back in that's when I can measure this guy I moved to my kitchen to cut up everything just because it was a little bit more comfortable just take measurements of where these brackets start and and then I'm basically having to draw it on to here because I can't lay this down and draw it from the inside obviously I got this double-sided tape you guys by scotch so that we can put a little bit you can put it on the shelves but you don't really have to this is more for the backing that's really funny really 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 funny really really this is exciting <laughs> it looks like exactly one and a half <laughs> watch us out if this goes perfectly that's gonna be great if it doesn't that's when i'm gonna breathe <laughs> you guys thinking i'm joking how wide is this sucker how wide are you sucker little sucker 
how wide are you? You little, little, little. Really? Wow, that's great. Okay, wait, what was that again? I did this first cut out. So what I've done is I've left this front part so that it can slip in front of it. Gonna make me really happy. <laughs> guys I don't even know what time it is right now like I have got this one cut over here you see how nice it looks so seamless but I am gonna put some double-sided tape Okay, so everything is lined at the back. It's finally, finally done. This has been like the most tedious part about this whole project. I love how it's like a stone white kind of background. I love that I can just wipe anything off. And this is also removable. Like if you wanted to do a black backdrop and want to make it like very sharp, that would look so nice too. If you wanted something glossy, I just really like matte. So that's why I just made sure it was nice and matte. And funny enough, I was going to use these. I actually still have another roll, but I was going to use this as a liner instead of my... Um, cabinets in my kitchen so I think I'm gonna buy a few more rolls because I really like this material and now all we have to do is just put everything in its place and where I want it I have moisturizers over here because moisturizers I grab even throughout the day a lot because of my dry skin especially when I don't wear makeup I love to like reapply you know I'm only gonna put the main sunscreen that I use because that's the only one I use I don't want to have like three different ones I love this one by super goop and it smells so good i sometimes use this vitamin c at night so i am gonna put it here my sunscreen right in front because sunscreen is a very muy importante i love this bio oil this is a dry skin gel if you have dry skin you must try this gel it is so good um this mist that amy gave me the glow recipe one this feels so good to get everything nice and organized because it's really been bothering me our perfumes are gonna go over there and like i said i could put away one of these but at the end of the day I do use all three of these. We're gonna put our toothbrush up here. I decided to use this one. I have my favorite deodorant that I'm using right now, this natural deodorant by Frisk. They are a Canadian company. I'm not sure if they ship to the US, but I do have a coupon code, so I'll leave it down below for you guys. So I'm gonna be putting this over here. I love the aesthetic too, and it smells so, so good. Then this is like my favorite toothpaste currently right now, and I'm just putting it inside of this cup. Because it's not the cutest thing to look at. I'm going to be putting my cleansers over here. I want it to be wash, put my moisturizer, have my night stuff, and then obviously wash again before I put on my night stuff. So I'm kind of doing it like that. Again, practicality, muy importante. So I'm going to put the three things that I've been using to cleanse. I love this toner so, so, so much. This guy, I realized, is really bulky, you guys, and it doesn't fit along with, like, my cleansers and stuff. And I don't use this, like, every single night when I clean my face. So I'm putting it up there because I don't really have anything on that shelf or planned for that shelf. Up here, we're going to have all of our oils. I have a lot of oils. This is a hair oil, actually. It's obviously not for your face. I want to keep one here, and since this is the oil section, I do like to just put on some oil on my hair sometimes. Some glycerin, jojoba oil, rose oil, tea tree oil, very important if you ever have any, like, pimples or anything coming out. This is frankincense oil. It's ordinary. This is another good thing to use on top of your... This is the niacinamide from them. This is a serum, so actually... Yeah, these are oils, so I don't want to put the serums and the oils together. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And then this is um, Aloe Drops. This is from Hello Body 2. I love these guys. This is a daily face glow booster. It just gives you this beautiful glow. Covering face night serum. I love stuff from, obviously, Hello Body, as you guys can tell. I worked with them before, and I shared with you guys the products, but I really, really love those ones. And then I have a Derma E hydrating eye cream that I've been using that they sent me. You know what? I don't think I have anything planned. Whoops. Whoopsie daisy. Whoopsie daisy. Over here, all of my face tanning products, my tinted moisturizer, my brush, and then the brush I use to apply my face tanners is going to go right over here. I actually took away that big blue bottle um, that tans my body, that tanning cream. I love that cream. 
um, and I've only been using Bondi Sands right now, but I put it in my tanning drawer. I didn't want it to be like this massive eyesore every time you open up this cabinet. And then I also have, ooh, this was supposed to go over here. Okay, whoa. Okay, I might have to make an adjustment because I really like this sometimes. This is a hydrating alkaline overnight facial from Derma E that I really like. I can put it on top, the tea tree on top. Skincare kind of tools, my face scrubber. Um, this is a Hello Body um, coffee face scrub. I really like it. I've been using that one. And then a lip scrub so that this is a scrub section. Um, jade roller, this is not real jade probably, but I still use it. And um, this is the brush I like to use for my mask. Sometimes I use this one. And then my favorite mask I've been using right now, you guys, is Mud Masky. And this is their Facial Detox Purifying Recover Mask. And then it comes with a serum. And then the other mask I'd love to use is the, of course, the Baby Facial. Famous, famous Baby Facial. Are going to go up over here. These are also the things I don't reach for every single day. I don't do masks every single day. I don't use this every single day. I don't do scrubs every single day. But that's why I'm okay for it to be a little bit more up there. That leaves us with some room over there. And I also have a shelf that is completely empty. this looks so much better it's definitely organized to fit my lifestyle and my routine every single day I'm so happy that I decided to put the background in the little kind of backsplash and also the bottom layers I feel like it's going to help your cabinet last a lot longer too I'll link for you guys what I can forgot to tell you guys that this thing I didn't end up putting inside the cabinet because honestly on top of my counter it looks very minimalistic if you guys enjoyed organizing with me do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up and also hit the subscribe button if you guys want to subscribe to my channel follow me on IG it is at Steph G. Macedo. Hopefully you guys enjoyed kind of doing this with me. This gives you some tips, maybe just a little bit of inspo. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see all of my beautiful babes in my next video.